What is up YouTube, Atrix family and Android fans? Today I'm going to show you how to unbreak your Motorola Atrix HD. This is a one-click root method, a one-click bootloader method, and a one-click flash method. With this, you have every tool you're ever going to need for your Motorola Atrix HD. You can fix it, you can root it, you can unlock bootloader, anything. It's called the Myth Tools, and it's made by the Myth team. Uh, special thanks to them, Devilskin, DJR Bliss, Skivy Dude, and Lianix. Not Linux, Lianix. Alright, mention your names, Ram. I'm sorry. I'm kind of fast on reading names. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna get uh, a zip file when you download this from the description. I'm gonna leave you on Dropbox. Gonna download it, extract it, and you're gonna have Myth Tools HD. Open it. Here are all the tools you're gonna need, and you're gonna open Main Bat. Okay, here. First thing, keep in mind Motorola drivers. Always keep in mind you have to have the latest Motorola drivers. This won't work if you don't have them. Just let's. Im I already have them installed, but let's imagine I pressed five and pressed enter. Okay. The Motorola drivers will, will start downloading. If anything happens and you, the drivers j just do not install, then I'm going to have a link to, uh, in the description for the latest Motorola drivers. All right? So don't worry. Next thing you're going to need is install the ADB Fastboot APK tools. Uh, this is crucial. You have to have this installed as well. Just press 1, enter, and that's it. Follow the and, and it will just download it. Next thing you're going to need, and of course, flashing stock firmware for this if you're gonna flash back to stock I will leave you this in the description the 4.1.1 Atrix uh, stock firmware and a jelly bean alright you just place this this you just place it open the the myth tools and place it on firmware paste it there okay Crucial point right now. Remember to have it as a zip file. Don't extract it. Don't make it RAR file and don't make it uh well any other uh file that you know of, right? Zip and that's it. Then you're gonna once you have everything done and installed, you're gonna go where it says main bet again and you're gonna press two for flashing stock firmware alright now stop right here turn your phone off if it's on and if you have it off just press the volume up and down button and the power button at the same time if you have your phone off alright then you're gonna see a white menu with a, that with a lot of selections right there and you're gonna select AP fastboot you select it and you plug in your phone. Okay, I'm gonna take you to the phone itself just in case you didn't get my steps. Alright, I'm gonna show you through my Sony crappy camera, okay? Okay, so this is how it look, it's gonna look from the device itself. Sorry for the, uh, the struggling I'm gonna have right now, but I only have one arm and the other arm holding the camera. Okay, power button right here. Up, down, uh, volume up button right here, and uh, the volume down button right here. Gonna hold them both at the same time, and you're gonna get a menu with some letters, white letters. You're gonna hold uh, with the volume button. You're gonna select down AP fastboot, and you're gonna select with the volume up, and it will be on um, bootloader mode. Again, if you didn't get that, go down with the volume up button you select the thing you want alright in, in which case AP fastboot will take you to this menu once you have that see if I can, all right, right there. once you have that your phone you're gonna plug in the USB cable alright phone is connected to my computer okay. now let's go back to the computer itself all right we're back now what you're gonna need to do is 
go to where it says main bat. You're going to select flushing stock firmware, which is number two, and you're going to press enter. But before you press enter, remember again, I'm just for caution, I don't want any errors to occur. Go to firmware and make sure you have it right here, the, the stock firmware of the Atrix. You have to have it here as zip file. Remember it. You press 2, press enter. You press N. And you press enter again. That's for confirming the flashing. And it will start flashing. I'm going to leave it like that so you can see how long it takes. It takes about one to two minutes. Everything is okay. Flash stuck for firmware now. You press enter. All right. Crucial right now. Your phone is in normal mode or fast boot mode. You're gonna select number two, fast boot. Why fast boot mode? Because your phone is in fast boot mode, and fast boot mode takes less time than normal mode. All right. Press enter. I'm going to show you again how it looks from the device. All right, it's flashing right there. Everything is okay. It says sending system. Flashing everything, all right. The phone will be like that. Don't touch anything. Still connected. Now let's go back to the computer. Okay, it's still flashing. Don't unplug your phone, all right? Everything is okay, but don't unplug it just yet. Now it says you want to use stock recovery from the Motorola Atrix HD, or you have you could have clockwork mod recovery. So I'm gonna select two, which is clockwork mod recovery. Press two and hit OK. Flashing clockwork mod recovery. All right. Now the phone will be booting up with a uh, Motorola Dual Core techno Technology logo. It will boot up uh, about in one minute. All right. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe. If you didn't like it, hit unlike. If you have any problems, hit me up. I'll gladly help you with any problems you have. Thanks.